So now we're in a situation where we've uncovered exactly what a purpose is and what calling is. We know that purpose is something that's within us, is something that we bring out, is something that lives with inside. And we're aware that a calling is something that we attach that to. So in the next couple of slides, I'm gonna show you the three main pillars that if you want to live with purpose, very simply, the way that you do this. First things first, you must have a direction of intention. Now this might sound very simple to individuals like yourself, but you must have a focus. You must have something that you're moving towards that you are consciously choosing to put your focus of attention to. Um, I, I believe personally that we're living in a day and age of dabbling. When we're talking about goals, when we're talking about targets, outcomes, business, relationship, financial, career, you know as well as I do that if you don't have a direction of intention, you don't have something that you are actively focusing on moving towards, then this whole process of living with this purpose, the, this igniting fuel within us, becomes that much harder. Because that is number one, because look, you must have it. You must, it's a personal calling to you. What it might be for me might be different to you, Steve might be different to you, Sal, whatever that may be. Secondly, it must be something that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. Because look, we're gonna to get to this in a moment as well. We've all got different reasons, we've got all different whys, what people like to call it. We've all got different leverage, leverages that make us want to jump out of bed in the morning and go and attack the day. We've all got this, we all have. And if something that you're choosing to focus on isn't getting you out of bed of the morning, then you can tell yourself all the stories under the sun, everything that you wish to try and get you into that place, but you're never gonna feel fulfillment. You're never gonna feel that purposeful fire that you want. Let me give you an example. As I touched on earlier, I, during my career, very fortunate to play at some of the top teams, some of the top clubs. Now, jumping out of bed in the morning was very easy for me. When you're going in every day and you're playing with these superstars and you're learning from some of these world's best coaches and things like that, it was very easy for me to have that drive, have that grit, have that, want to get up and get out of it. Fast forward a year or two, things go a different way. You slip down the ladder, I still find that fire within me. Fast forward another year or two after that, I find myself on a labor insight, getting up at 4.45 in the morning, having to find that inner drive to go out and get enough money to go and pay the rent that I'm currently behind on. So when I'm saying something that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning, how that links to how each of us are every single day. If you are not doing something every single day that it makes you feel alive, that makes you feel so purposeful, makes you feel so driven, ambitious, goal orientated, burns that fuel within you, then we're gonna need to find that one thing or that couple of things, whatever that may be. And as I say, and as I touched on before, the leverage to question yourself about why it's so important. Were there days when I was on the building site that I didn't want to get out? Absolutely. But what I did have was enough leverage behind me to understand why it was so important. And that was able to conjure up enough purposeful drive within me to then follow through. Are you with me? Good, good. Because as you know, I love to give you action points. So each of these three pillars, we're gonna discuss different action points around what you need to do. You need to really understand and really harness exactly what it is that you would love to be, do, have, and become. Now, let me give you a bit of context here. For me, this was a real, we know the light bulb moment. This was a real light bulb moment for me because I was at a situation and a crossroads in my life where I needed to do this. I needed to really find what exactly mattered to me. And this process for me here, what I would love to do, be, have, or become was six pages front and back. Now, what that was, was the man I wanted to be, the man who I inspired was inspired by, who I wanted to affect, what I wanted to give, what I wanted to share, what I wanted to achieve, everything about what it was that I want. Then I designed my perfect career, my perfect life, my perfect relationship, my perfect business. Six pages front and back this was for me. Because when I become clear on this, when I become clear on exactly what it was, jumping out of bed in the morning, having this personal call in mind, finding enough leverage, it comes like that. It becomes so easy because why? I've got such clarity 
on this direction of intention. I promise you, I've worked with enough people, and I've worked with, I've been fortunate enough to work with high-end sports people, and people coming out of university. So I know that there are traits in human behaviour that work, and this one works. If you are struggling to find exactly what it is that exactly you want to do, be, have, become, do the complete opposite. Write down the worst version of yourself or the job that's possible. And the complete opposite will be your dream self or dream job. Now, let me give you my context. I sat there and I was like, I'd hate to be in a situation in five years time where I'm being dictated to exactly what I wanted to do, that I, had, I couldn't choose my own hours, I couldn't choose all these different things that I wanted to do, that I couldn't be myself, that I couldn't talk freely and openly about what mattered to me most. All these different things that come out when I, I went through this process as well, which is why I'm sharing it. I flip that on the head, on its head and I see where I am today and I have my dream job. I have my dream career, I have my dream business, I have my dream relationship. Why? Because I understood exactly what I was moving away from. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we spoke around the pain and pleasure scales? People do more to avoid pain than they will to gain pleasure. I'll repeat that, just so you remember. We will, people will do more to avoid pain than they will to gain pleasure. And when you understand that, you can understand why this process can be so powerful because people will do as much as they can to avoid the worst version of themselves sometimes than they can to achieve the best version of themselves. Does that all make sense? Good, because as I say, without this first step, the next two pillars that I'm going to discuss with you are going to be incredibly powerful and they are incredibly powerful to live in a purposeful and fulfill fulfilled life. But secondly, you need to back that up. You need to back that up with action in terms of tangible action that you can go and do. So the second pillar for me here